for this project. I think we just need a small piece of willow. I think that one will do just fine. It looks like it's going to work pretty good. Alright, got my piece of willow. I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. Okay, well, got it cleaned up. Next I carved a little bit of a wedge on the end. And uh, now I'm going to cut that off to use for the rest of the, uh, the device. And there's my, uh, my little wedge. Okay, now I need to split one end of this to get the wedge installed. Yeah, all right, there's my piece of willow split with my little wedge installed. And we'll go on to uh, step three. <laughs> okay, next I carved a very sharp point on one of the tines and uh, carved a groove on uh, any other. Now we can uh, ready it for the next step. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, now I've taken my pen and a Canadian jam knot and affixed it to one side of my uh, bushcraft compass. And let's put a few wraps on that and uh, that should hold it in place. Okay, guys. Got my wraps on here. It's holding that pen pretty tight. And uh, this will act as my bushcraft compass. Not the kind you would use to tell direction, uh, but the kind to draw circles. Okay. Okay, guys. Got a little notepad here. And my uh, bushcrafted compass with my pencil on one side, a little piece of willow, and uh, now we're going to use it to uh, draw a circle. Beautiful. And there you can see, we got a nice circle. And since I know where the center is, all we need to do now is draw a line through that and uh, I can begin to build the clock face and move on to the next step. We've got our circle here now and uh, we're going to uh, just use the straight edge of my knife, center part of it here, just draw a line through the center of the circle. straight line and uh, the top of this would be 12 o'clock and the bottom would be 6 and uh, so now I want to go um, roughly 90 degrees between those uh, or bisecting that line to give me uh, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock so again we'll just use our knife go through the center three and there's nine so now we're beginning to build our clock face I'm gonna see if I can't get uh, a couple of more angles in there okay guys I'm just basically eyeballing it for four and uh, five o'clock but uh, again using our straight edge the back back of our knife and lining up through the center of the circle. I can draw in two more pieces of the clock face. And now I have 10 and 11 o'clock, four and five. I'm gonna 
again, just eyeball it. And the thirds for one and two o'clock. Go through our center. what I had in mind, but pretty close. Seems a little off on one of them. Uh, I know it's getting kind of messy, but uh, now I can look at my digital watch and it says it's five o'clock. So the hour hand would be at five o'clock. And if I now put that hour hand towards the sun halfway between it and 12 o'clock is going to be a line pointing south which seems to be just about right and our sun is behind a cloud at the moment so that'll be the next step is to wait for a little sunshine okay guys we've got our clock face here that we've made with our bushcrafted compass and drew our circle and I've put the uh, roughly the hour hours of the, the day on the clock face. I'm going to use this little stick here to put that right in the middle and I'm going to rotate my clock face until uh, the shadow is just opposite the hour hand since it's pretty close to uh, five o'clock right now. You can see that, maybe not. Anyway, so now we've got our uh, our clock uh, in place and lined up with the sun. And halfway between it and 12 o'clock uh, should be a line that will point south. So that is what our uh, clock face is telling us. And uh, here is our compass. And look at that. It's pointing south. So it works. So there is a, a simple method of drawing a reasonably good and accurate circle and uh, turning it into a clock face that you can then take your digital time and put on it for uh, an analog clock that can then be used to uh, estimate north and south. There might be a little bit of a difference because we know there's a difference between uh, solar north and south versus uh, magnetic north and south, but it's a good fun project. All right, well, let's get back to it. <laughs> 